Entertaining. There are a few things uh, which we know are sure in life. One of them is we have to pay taxes. And the other one is we are always in an exciting fight when Amir Khan fights. Uh, not exciting in Amir Khan, that just doesn't fit. There's always fireworks, always exciting. He certainly entertained the home crowd here. It was, a, uh, it was an exciting uh, homecoming for you. Congratulations. Hi everyone, um, thanks for joining up at the, for, for the fight. I mean, you, you, you know, Julio was tough. Um, we did our homework. Um, I'm sure he did his homework. And he come to fight, to win. You know, even though the fight was in the UK, a lot of people were giving him, uh, criticizing him, saying that he's not what he is. And, but you know, I have to say, Julio gave it 100%. I've seen his last fight against Sean Paul, which I believe he won. I mean, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. And this guy, he, you know, knew what to do. Um, he stuck to a game plan which he followed. He put me down, um, and I remember when he put me down because I was on one foot as I was moving. He caught me the good left hook. Uh, but you know, these are the things that we're going to work on and we're going to improve on. Uh, we did a good 12 rounds. We know that the fitness is fine, and me and Virgil are going to go back to the drawing board and we're going to work on the mistakes that we made. You know, I still know there's a lot of improvement, and we're not a complete fighter yet. But it's only my second camp with Virgil and. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to sit down and go through the whole fight again. But yeah, thanks for turning up and, and I enjoyed being in there. It was, it, was, it was a great crowd in Sheffield. the first time I fought here and uh, they were all 100% behind me. They motivated me and pushed me when I was hurt, you know. So it was great. Thanks. Several times in there, you seem to be caught between the old down there and the new down there. Yeah, no, it's going to take time, you know, it's going to take time. I mean, it's only my second time. <laughs> Um, I remember, you know, going in the corner and he told me, look, you have to stick to the game plan I'm here because once I get going, um, you know, it's, um, you know, we, we start making all mistakes again. But this is a fight I needed, you know, a tough 12-round fight I needed against a tough guy who come down from 147, who was strong, you know, took my power, took my shots, and, and was a big puncher himself. So this is what I needed, and this is only going to improve me as a fighter. I'm going to probably uh, fly over to San Francisco in between fights and do like a mini camp. I think that's going to help. Um, so then we know that we're not got, we've not got a deadline. We can just work on things that we want to improve on. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be flying for mini camps. And <coughs> the more time I spend on Virgil, the more time I spend in the ring and training, I think it's going to be better because. You know, we only train for when when I fight, so it's only 10 weeks, and only 20 weeks a, a year if I, have twi if I fight twice a year. So I think I need to spend a little bit more time in the ring. Um, and this is my job, you know, so I need to spend more time and I'm going to be learning as I, as I go on. Yeah. So twice as much time? Yeah, twice as much yeah. is what I want, yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, do you think you're really, for you? Do you think that could be a good thing? in your uh, sort of return to the top level? Yeah, definitely, you know, it is. I mean, even at the top level, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be, it's never easy. And I think it's, it's, it was a brilliant fight to get my feet wet and put it up against a guy who's tough, who wouldn't take a step back. I mean, he come to fight, he come to win. You know, I mean, he didn't come in there just to stand as an opponent. I thought, you know, he might, after a couple of rounds, he'll fade away. But he didn't. I mean, he was answering every question. And um, I have to give him a lot of credit. I, I. I knew it was going to be tough, but I didn't think it was going to be this tough. He he had answers for all the all the shots I hit with, and also he hit me with some good shots. But like I said, it, it's all about working on these mistakes and improving. I mean, I still say I'm not a complete fighter. I'm only getting better and better as time goes on, and the more time I spend with Virgil and in the in the gym, I'm only going to get better. Okay, thank you. Moving over to America full time, then, and if you won't. I mean, it's going to be a little bit difficult, the whole family's in England, but I don't mind <coughs> travelling back and forth. I mean, it's a it's an 11 hour flight. Um, I have like a long break in between. I've got Ramadan coming up, so hopefully, maybe just after Ramadan, I'll fly over quite early. I've got a place in uh, San Fran, so I'm going to be spending more time there. Uh, so back and forth, I'll be back and forth. Who would you like next, Tommy? Yeah, um, you know, th there's uh, many fighters out there. I mean, there's, there's, there's four guys out there who who are the top guys in the division, which is Peter Serb, um, Garcia, there's Matisse, and there's um, Zap Judah. 
Um, Zap Junior will beat him, so you can call it three guys. But the winner, you know, I think he's having like a main tournament in a way you can say they'll be fighting each other. And I'd love to face the, the guy who comes out the, as the winner. Um, and, you know, I know I made mistakes in the Garcia fight. Um, and we're not going to make them again. We only improve in the fight, but I love the Garcia fight again because I know what mistakes I made. And my own critic, you know, I criticise myself so badly. And he said, that's the fight I want, is the Garcia fight, because I know there's a lot of unfinished business there. You still seem to have a tendency to go to war with people. I mean, would it be a different approach to Garcia definitely, this time? It would, be, it would be definitely be a different approach. And um, I think it's in the blood, you know, but like I said, with more work and more practice, um, and more time with Virgil, I think that's only going to make me a better fighter. But like I said, you know, I'm going to go back home, I'm going to watch the video again. And uh, I know what mistakes I made, um, so I'm just going to go and work on those mistakes. Don't you think it's tough to say because, you know, with, um, with Peter, a lot of people, you know, you have to give him credit because he's a tough guy. Um, I guess Matisse, Matisse is a tough guy as well. I really think Peterson would beat Lucas Matisse. Um, and then you've got um, Garcia and Judah. Uh, that's going to be tonight in a couple hours. Now with Judah, Judah's a good mover. Um, he beat Judah's a guy who beat Lucas Matisse. Now with um, with Garcia, I think Garcia's a little bit slower, not as doesn't throw as many punches, but he has a good timing in shots. I really think. I mean, a lot of upsets can happen. This is boxing. One punch can change a fight, and Judah can punch as well. You know, he's a southpaw as well, and he's awkward as Danny Garcia boxed as southpaw before. So it's, time will tell. But um, I like to face the winner. I mean, I like to face Garcia definitely. That's a fight I'd love. And um, I mean, even Peterson. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I, I think you should rethink and keep moving. I mean, that's what it was. Um, you know, at times I get too brave for my own good. I think that's what makes me excited. That's what people love. But I mean, if that was the old I mean, I would have probably got stuck in and started for trading and standing there, but I kept moving and I regret myself and I was fine. Amir, you said you've, you've learned from your mistakes. Julio Diaz has been here and told us they're expecting some mistakes to occur, and they did. Yeah, I mean, every fighter makes a mistake. And, you know, Diaz is a very experienced fighter. He's done over 50 fights. And he knew I'm going to make mistakes, and he capitalizes on them. So, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to Julio. Julio is a very experienced fighter. He's a class fighter. I mean, you know, I think he's one of the best fighters ever. Like you see in his last fight at 147, he fought uh, Sean Porter, who lot of so much noise about Sean Porter, and he got a draw against him. So I knew I was up against a tough guy. And um, you can see he did his homework. He has a great team. He has a great coach. And he, I could tell that he did his homework in the fight. Yeah. Um, you said you have the own biggest critic against Peterson. Um, after that fight, you said that with this fight, she's in trouble in the 11th round. Um, how well do you think you made adjustments to get out of that draw? Um, I think I made it better, you know, with Virgil in my corner and, and you know, the time we spent. I'm only, I've only been in two camps with Virgil and, um, you know, we, you're going to get hit. It's boxing, you're gonna, you know, you're going to get hit with good shots and it's how you recover and I can see with the experience that I am getting better because I am, you know, not rushing and if I do get caught, I have to recompose myself. So we go in the right direction, but like I said, I need to look at the video and see what mistakes I made and I'm going to work on those mistakes. Virgil, there's been a lot of focus on mistakes and Amir getting caught and one or two things. I mean, tonight, what pleased you about his performance? What did he do well for you? He was thinking. Uh, that's what pleased me. All fighters make mistakes. Julio made a lot of mistakes tonight, too. So he wasn't mistake-free. No fighter is mistake-free. As he was, he'd go out there, bam, it's over. He thanks you, he makes a move, knock you out. So he's mistake-free. All fighters make mistakes. They all have flaws. So we capitalized on his flaws, too. It, so it was uh, even more. He wasn't flawless, okay? Flaw-free, free, I should say. So he made a lot of mistakes from what we prepared for from him. But it's him getting up and thinking. You have to know how to survive in a boxing ring. You have to know when to let it go or not. And that's what I'm most pleased about. Because I'm convinced it'll take you to the next level. I'm convinced that now in his own mind, he knows I got to work more. I got to come to the gym more. I just can't take off in between fights and then go three months and try to prepare. So I have to build myself up in between fights. So I think this speaks for itself. But his survival instinct, you saw him tie him up and let the referee do his job. Break him. And then when he let him go and start boxing again, he boxed at the right time. 
he did not box hurt. He survived it, turned his head, and then he went back to work. And I think when you look at the 12th round, which he won big and convincingly, that's the horse I want to go across the finish line. Uh, however it starts, however it looks in the middle, what counts is who crossed that line the strongest, and he crossed the line the strongest. Amir, um, firstly, thank you very much for putting a great show on um, and a great victory. Um, will you fight in the UK again? I'd love to fight back in the UK, but I think most of the big, big fights so far, even for, for me, are in America. But, you know, if we can make a fight here, I have to give a lot of credit to Julio for coming all the way here. And plus, you know, a lot, I mean, it was not going to be an easy fight against Julio. I mean, Julio admits himself he's in the best condition he's ever been in. And, uh, you know, you can't take that away from him. He come to fight, he come to win. But um, I'd love to come back to the UK. I mean, it was an amazing crowd. And, uh, you know, I mean, nothing better than fighting back at home, but we'll just see how everything goes. I'm going to sit with, I'm going to sit with Richard and ask, uh, and we're going to go through the plan in the future and see where we go from here. Yeah, we'd love to see you back, though. Thank you very much. Amit, anything to say about Haroon's debut? Um, I didn't really see his debut, but I knew it was going to be uh, tough. You know, your first fight's always the hardest because you've got the pressure, you've got a lot of nerves, and you're not fighting with the head guard on. So you know you're gonna get hit clean with good shots, and um, I remember uh, seeing his opponent. But you know he knows this is a tough business. Boxing is tough. Uh, I know he's been training hard, and uh, I'm gonna be helping him out. Hopefully, um, we'll get out a fight for him quite quickly. Keep him busy, and he's only gonna be learning and getting better. I'm sure he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna go home and watch the video of his fight, see where he made mistakes, and um, we're just gonna take it from there. And I can advise him as well, and, and, and I'm gonna sit with him and. Tell him instead of doing this and doing do this and do that. So, you know, Haroon um, has a bright future in front of him as long as he listens and trains hard and is disciplined. I'm sure he'll go far. You paid him yet? No. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I should. It was a great evening and it was great having you all. Thank you very much.